I'm David Toman, author of NootropicsExpert.com, and in this video I'm going to share with you what I know about Phenibit as a nootropic. What it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, and side effects. Now, Phenibit is derived from the inhibitory neurotransmitter GABA. The addition of a phenyl ring allows Phenibit to cross the blood-brain barrier, and the reason why neurohackers prefer Phenibit when the goal is to raise GABA levels in the brain. Now, GABA is the major inhibitory or relaxing neurotransmitter in your brain. GABA's primary role is to keep the major excitatory neurotransmitter glutamate in check. GABA is naturally synthesized in your brain from glutamate. It's estimated that 40% of the synapses in the human brain work with GABA and therefore have GABA receptors. So when using Phenibit to boost GABA, you enhance normal sleep cycles and you improve blood pressure. GABA even stimulates the pituitary gland to secrete human growth hormone and helps produce the endorphins that make you feel good after a workout or sex. Now, soon after Phenibit was discovered in St. Petersburg, Russia, it was being prescribed by doctors to lower stress and anxiety to treat PTSD and insomnia. Phenibit was included in the medical kit for Russian astronauts on the Soyuz 19 and the Salyut 4 missions as a tranquilizer. Phenibit is one of the only tranquilizers that lowers stress levels without negatively affecting performance. As in a tropic, when you use Phenibit to normalize GABA levels, you'll experience a reduction in anxiety, insomnia, nervousness, restlessness, and stress. Phenibit can be a safer alternative to benzodiazepine drugs like Valium or Xanax. These pharmaceuticals work by increasing GABA receptor sensitivity. Well, first, Phenibit boosts GABA in the brain. Phenibit is a derivative of GABA and easily crosses the blood-brain barrier. Now, GABA on its own cannot cross this barrier unless it's paired with a dedicated carrier. GABA works by preventing neural signaling associated with anxiety from reaching other neurons. It does this by attaching to the receptor that would otherwise excite those neurons. Overstimulating neurons in certain areas of your brain is what causes anxiety-related symptoms. Now, the majority of studies on Phenibit have been conducted in Russia, and obviously in Russian. Now, these, a lot of these studies have done, been done in animals. Now, in this study using rabbits, scientists looked at anxiety behavior and how they were affected by Phenibit. They exposed the rabbits to emotional stimuli causing anxiety in these animals. Anxiety caused the rabbits to freeze and exhibit defensive reactions. Behavior is very similar to what happens in us humans when we're under stress. When the rabbits were administered Phenibit, the anxiety caused reaction and defensiveness and passive reactions or freezing were decreased back to normal behavior. And second, GABA changes brain waves. Using GABA as a nootropic helps increase GABA levels in your brain. And we know that GABA helps decrease beta brain waves and increase alpha brain waves. Beta brain waves are important for attention, alertness, concentration, and developing memories. But excess levels of concentration, and particularly during stress, can lead to anxiety, depression, insomnia, and more stress. Now, when you're in an alert state, both alpha and beta brain waves can be stimulated. But the type of alertness will determine which brain wave is produced. Alertness during an alpha wave state is associated with an al a relaxed state, and a stressed alert state produces a beta wave. But an excess of beta brain waves contributes to a variety of nervous disorders, including anxiety and stress. Now, most of the clinical studies available done with humans using, use GABA supplements rather than Phenibit. But the outcome of using GABA could be applied to using Phenibit to increase GABA levels in your brain. Phenibit crosses the blood-brain barrier more effectively than GABA does. Now, in this study, researchers investigated using GABA on relaxation and immunity during stress in humans. They evaluated the effectiveness in 13 subjects 
uh, and their GABA intake on brain waves. An EEG was used to measure brain waves after the subjects took water only, GABA, or L-theanine. Now, 60 minutes after administration, the study showed that the GABA significantly increased alpha brain waves and decreased beta waves compared to water or L-theanine. The researchers concluded that raising brain levels of GABA induced relaxation and diminished anxiety. And you raise brain levels of GABA effectively when supplementing with GABA. Phenibit is an analog of GABA. The addition of a phenyl ring allows phenibit to cross the blood-brain barrier more easily than GABA taken as a supplement. Now we need adequate GABA levels in our brain because it's the inhibitory neurotransmitter. When we raise GABA levels by supplementing with phenibit, we help keep glutamate in check. Glutamate is your body's most abundant excitatory neurotransmitter, which is responsible for attention span, brain energy, learning ability, uh, memory, and staying awake. So GABA is calming and glutamate is stimulating. And they must be in balance for us to reach and maintain optimal cognitive health. An imbalance of these two neurotransmitters can cause fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, poor memory and cognition, anxiety, and depression. But when these two neurotransmitters work together efficiently, you feel relaxed with no stress or feelings of anxiety, and you get a more restful night's sleep. Adding phenibit to your nootropic stack can help bring GABA and glutamate back into balance. When you balance GABA levels in your brain, you feel relaxed and calm. Many neurohackers who try using GABA as a supplement don't feel the effects because GABA molecules are too big to cross the blood-brain barrier. Now, just as a quick side note here, if you do feel the calming effects of supplementing with a GABA supplement within a half hour of taking it, it could mean that you have a leaky blood-brain barrier, which is not a good thing. Because if GABA can get through, all kinds of nasty stuff can get through too, including toxins, undigested food particles, and anything else your bloodstream, anything else that's in your bloodstream that shouldn't be in your brain. Now I'm going to deal with how to fix a leaky, leaky blood brain barrier in another article on Nootropics Expert in the future. But in the meantime, here we're talking about increasing our GABA levels using Phenibit. Neurohackers report that adding phenibit to the stack reduces anxiety, there is less stress, and they feel more relaxed. In fact, some say it's the best anti-anxiety medication they've ever used, including some well-known pharmaceuticals like clonazepam, diazepam, and others used to treat anxiety, with none of the nasty side effects that come with the prescription meds. Social functions could get some help with phenibit. You could feel less inhibited and speak freely, freely and feel more confident. Others report that Phanabit boosts sex drive, and for men, it helps control ejaculation, and it helps for a better night's sleep. Athletes report that Phanabit goes well with a workout because Phanabit has been shown to boost human growth hormone. You'll be able to work out with less fatigue energy levels will be up, muscles won't be as sore, and recovery should be faster. Now, Phenibit takes two to four hours before you begin to feel its effects, so a strong word of caution. Do not increase the dose and take additional Phenibit if you think things are not, if you think that things are not happening fast enough. Wait at least another 24 hours before taking another dose. This is important. Now, Phenibit was developed back in the 1960s in St. Petersburg in Russia, and there's quite a bit of research on it. I've got more research, clinical studies, over on Nootropics Expert I'm not, that I'm not going to talk about in this video. If you'd like to see these studies, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for Phenibit, or click on the link below this video. I've got a clinical study on how GABA increases human growth hormone. And I've got another one on how GABA helps reduce insomnia. So again, go over to Neurotropics Expert and check out these clinical studies if you're interested. 
The recommended daily starting dose of Phenibit is 2 to 300 milligrams for a relaxation or a calming effect. Give it 2 to 4 hours before it starts to kick in. Now more experienced Phenibit users go with 1 to 1.5 grams per dose and up to 3 times a week. Now since you can quickly build up tolerance to Phenibit, using less is often preferred and using it less often is preferred and many advise keeping Phenibit used to once or twice a week with almost no side effects and no hangover the next day. Phenibit can be very addictive for some people and the withdrawal from continuous use is particularly nasty. If you ever come off of something like SSRIs, you'll know what I'm talking about here. So if you're going to try using Phenibit, make sure that you follow the dosage recommendations. Phenibit is considered safe when taken in normal recommended doses. Bodybuilders who use much higher doses of Phenibit do report experiencing flushing, tingling, a, sp a spike in heart rate, and blood pressure and anxiety. Now you can build up a tolerance to Phenibit quickly. And if you have an addictive personality, you should avoid using Phenibit. Most neurohackers suggest cycling Phenibit, using recommended doses for four or five days and then taking a few days off. Others suggest using Phenibit once, only once or twice a week. Now you'll find out what works for you if you decide to try uh, Benefit. And you could experience a rough ride at first. Too much and the withdrawal can be nasty. And you're strongly advised not to combine Phenibit with alcohol. And absolutely do not combine Phenibit with benzodiazepines. Phenibit as a supplement is available in tablet, capsule, and powder form. Scientists have shown that Phenibit easily crosses a blood-brain barrier. Phenibit is an analog of GABA developed in Russia, and it increases levels of GABA in your brain. While some report that Phenibit causes uh, drowsiness and fatigue, it's, much shape, it's a much safer way to boost GABA than with a pharmaceutical like Valium or Xanax. So my nootropics expert recommendation is Phenibit 2 to 300 milligrams a day. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for Phenibit, or click on the link below this video. There you'll see a full transcript of this video and you'll find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions or you want to share your experience using Phenibit, please use the comment section at the bottom of the post over on Nootropics Expert. I respond to comments and questions at Nootropics Expert usually the same day. And if you want to see more videos on all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I try putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.